Hello, this is Crystal Racer Gear with the race review for the 2020 Spanish Grand Prix. And as you can expect, Circuit de Catalunya delivered yet again. Yet another boring, sleep-inducing race. And I'm going to go through the results. Lewis Hamilton takes his fourth win of the season. He builds his points champ his championship lead to 37 points for the season over Max Verstappen who is now very much in second place with 95 points 10 out of 10 to Lewis wins by 24 seconds what else is there to say he took pole position just all around just a brilliant weekend again from a man who is now pretty much bang on certain to win his seventh world championship second place um, is Max Verstappen another 10 out of 10 performance but of course, today, despite the boiling hot temperatures, the tyre degradation on the Mercedes wasn't really enough for Max to be in contention, meaning they had to second, settle for second place. And that's all the Dutchman could do today. Third place is Valtteri Bottas, 7 out of 10. A horrific, stinky start from the Finn today. Fell to P5 until, and then of course he quickly overtook Perez. But I think for goodness sake to get overtaken by not only Max but both racing points off the start line is just, it is truly awful. It is just not good enough. That's why he's only getting 7 out of 10. And he finished almost 45 seconds behind Hamilton. Lance Stroll, 8 out of 10. Very good weekend all round for the Canadian. Beat his teammate. But, as it was, he, along with the rest of the field, got lapped today. Literally, absolutely nobody was able to, to stay on the lead lap before from Max Verstappen. Goodness me, that Mercedes is just OP at the moment. It is scary. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised because, of course, well... Sergio Perez was 9 tenths slower than the Mercedes in qualifying, so that makes perfect sense. 8 out of 10 for Lance for beating Perez. Meanwhile, in 5th place, it was Sergio Perez coming back from his, um, from COVID-19. Of course, he got a negative test this weekend, meaning he could race, so it's 7 out of 10 for the Mexican. Yeah, I mean... Considering uh, Polkenberg was able to outpace Stroll last weekend, for Paris to come back and get outpaced by Stroll himself is a bit... Hmm, it's not been... It's not actually been that great a season for Paris, I have to say, so far. I am really have not been impressed by Sergio Paris this season for some reason. He just... He doesn't seem to be on it at all. I know he's beat... This is his first race in about... What was it? Four weeks? But come on, mate... Uh, Carlos sides 6th place, 9 out of 10. A very good performance from the Spaniard today. Um, he hasn't exactly had the best season so far, but today was a major improvement. Managed to make the, um, well, yeah, fairly, fairly good pace all round all weekend at his home track. And then, of course, in 7th place, it is... Sebastian Vettel, 9 out of 10, just like Sykes gets 9 out of 10. Qualified P12, only two attempts quicker than Kimi. Goodness me, I was seriously fearing the worst for Vettel today. But in the race, he made his own course, did a one-stop, and got P7. Made the, the, the soft compounds last, went in um, P8. Was is Alex Albon five out of ten yet again? Nowhere near close to Max Verstappen. And yes, I know people will say, well, they experimented with Albon putting him on a hard compound for his second stint, but and of course, yeah, Albon just wasn't that was impeded to some extent by that. But you know, to finish P8 in a Red Bull is just frankly not good enough. I know. I mean, let's be honest, this is no better than what Gasly was doing in the first half last year. And yes, I know he's been used as a guinea pig for Max, but if he was quicker, he would not be being used as a guinea pig. That's just a fact. 
Red Bull know that Albon's car is just a lost cause at this point, so they just. I mean, at this point, I'm 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 pretty certain that this they they're gonna replace him at the end of this year. This is not good enough. P9, Pierre Gasly, 9 out of 10. Another superb weekend for the Frenchman. Once again, out qualified Kvyat. And out racing him today. And did a very good two, you know, used two medium compounds. I mean, it worked to brilliant effect. 10th place, final point scorer, Lando Norris, 7 out of 10. Um, nowhere near the pace of science all weekend. So I'll give it 7 out of 10. P11 was Danny Ricardo, 8 out of 10. Uh, Renault failed to get out of Q2 and they finished outside the top 10. So, really, frankly, I don't know what else Ricardo could have done. 8 out of 10, no pace on the car week all weekend. P12, Danny Trevia, 7 out of 10. Uh, God, he's becoming a bit of a mad driver at this point. Just a really quite a season from Korea so far. He needs a big result soon, otherwise he's gonna probably get yeeted out of that Alpha Tory seat, especially if Albert's coming back next year. P thirteen Esteban O'Connor six out of ten. A very, very poor weekend from S O'Connor all round. Got caught napping behind Kevin Magnuson and FP three when he did well he let Magnuson passed, didn't realise Magnuson then slowed down and then of course he was looking at his left mirror, left side mirror and then at the last minute he noticed he was going to run into Magnuson so he suddenly spun round and hit the barriers meaning that his mechanics had to spend two hours fixing his car meaning that he qualified behind Kimi Raikkonen P15 and then of course could only just about get in front of Kimi Raikkonen to finish in front of him to finish P13. 6 out of 10 for Ocon. A very, very, very poor weekend. It must be said. Not impressed one bit. But he did though, try to make the one stop work like his teammate. But it really got them no way if we're going to be honest. P14. Kimi Raikkonen. 8 out of 10. Did all he could in what is a dog of a car. Qualified an impressive P14. Yes, I know Drover that he messed up, but Kimi qualified almost a second faster. And then, of course, P15, Kevin Magnussen, 7 out of 10. Usual fare, what else can he do with that horse? It's just awful. P16, Antonio Drover that 7 out of 10. Not much else to say. George Russell and Nicholas Satifi, P17 and P18. I'll give them 7 out of 10 because Williams' car has just not been very quick this weekend. And if we're going to be frankly honest, there's not much else those two can do either. But, of course, we get to the guy who finished in P19, Roman Grosjean. Just, you know, Pete. He was 5th fastest in, pra in first practice, 6th pra fastest in... Um, second practice uh, but after that he had a terrible qualifying session and an even worse race where he spawned he got shoved off the road by Giovinazzi and then he um, and then of course there was that incident where he you know he was weaving on the straight whilst Kimmy was overtaking him 4 out of 10 the reject of the day what a Awful performance, like, I mean, and of course, who's my driver today? Oh, what a tricky one. I think I'm going to give it to Sebastian Vettel, because why not? Just seriously, I, I mean, what, is, what an improvement, I've got to say. And of course, with that new chassis, well, he looks kind of a bit better than usual. And of course, we get to the to the only retiree of the race, Charles Leclerc. Apparently, he said he was on for a P5 finish. Don't know about that. I mean, he did spin so, but of course, his engine broke down, meaning that he was not able to finish. So for me, that's eight out of ten for Charles Leclerc. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to Crystal Racing, and I'll see you again next time.